So I was doing some chemistry revision today and I realised I don't really know what catalysts we need to know for chemistry and the test is in a couple of days so I thought I'd do a video explaining which catalysts and I've also included the temperature in degrees C and the pressure in atmospheres but I've only done the ones it looks like we needed to know from the specification so sorry if there's some in there that we need to know that I haven't written. So we don't need to know this one. I'm going to fill in the processes first. So I've done hydrogen peroxide decomposing into oxygen and water, ethene and steam combining to make ethanol. Sorry about my handwriting. Ethanol being broken down into ethene and steam. Long chain alkanes being broken down to, into short chain alkanes and alkenes. And sulfur dioxide. and oxygen combining to make sulfur trioxide. Gonna change pens before this gets drastic. So the things we don't need to know. We don't need to know the temperature or the pressure for hydrogen peroxide because it's basically just carried out at room temperature. We don't need to know the temperature for ethanol decomposing or the pressure for that and I couldn't find a pressure for the alkanes decomposing into alkanes and alkenes so the catalyst for hydrogen decomposing Hydrogen peroxide, even, decomposing into oxygen and water, is manganese 5, sorry, 4 oxide. The catalyst for ethene and steam combining to make ethanol is phosphoric acid. The catalyst for ethanol decomposing into ethene and steam is aluminium oxide. For the cracking of alkanes, it can also be aluminium oxide, but it could be silicon dioxide instead. For sulfur dioxide and oxygen combining to make sulfur trioxide, the catalyst is vanadium oxide. Now for the temperatures. So I said we don't need the temperatures for either of these two, but for ethene and steam combining to make ethanol, it's 300 degrees Celsius. The cracking of alkanes is 600 to 700 degrees Celsius and the combining of sulphur dioxide and oxygen is 450 degrees Celsius. The pressure for ethene and steam is 60 to 70 atmospheres, so that's 60 to 70 times atmospheric pressure which is what you're feeling right now. And for sulphur Dioxide and oxygen combining to make sulphur trioxide in the reversible reaction. It is a pressure of about two atmospheres. So hopefully that's all we need to know. Good luck.